Anna Maria Chen here at Lincoln Center during Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week for the 9th Annual Style Awards, where celebrities, designers, and style icons will be here honoring what else but fashion and great style. Breakthrough Designer of the Year, that's amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, it is. I'm still in a um, kind of like in a daze because, you know, there are so many great designers and just for them to like even like, consider me, it's such an honor. So, yeah. And I have to know, what was the one moment in your career that, you know, you felt like was the big breakthrough moment for you where you felt like, I really made it? There, there have been several. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't think I ever felt like, you know, I've made it per se. I always feel like, um, I think there have been several moments, like, you know, when I got the first cover of Women's Wear Daily to, um, I would say, when the first lady wore, you know, I, so yeah, all of those moments have been really great. Very exciting. You are receiving an award tonight, Makeup Artist of the Year at the Style Awards. How does that make you feel? I'm truly honored. I've been in the business for 28 years and this is really such a lovely surprise and the cherry on the cake. And what do you think are going to be some of the big makeup trends for the upcoming season? Um, I have been enjoying doing a sharp, crisp black eyeliner and a, a strong red lip. Um, my, two of my personal favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Good taste. <laughs> and what do you think is a big makeup faux pas? Just, I think, too much makeup. I think a woman's beauty should shine through um, and less is more. She's the genius behind Alice and Olivia and she actually designed the dress that I'm wearing this evening. Look adorable in. Thank you so much. Now I'd love to know if you were going to do a collaboration with another designer or artist, is there anyone you would love to collaborate with? I think right now I've been having this like major Lola Schnabel obsession. Um, she's just this incredible young female artist and I, I think I'm ready to beg her to do some prints for me. And we always see you looking so fabulous and stylish, but what do you wear in your downtime? Um, I always sort of dress up. It's kind of just, I think, part of who I am. So, like, I mean, the joke is, like, if I'm wearing, like, a tutu with boots instead of high heels, my husband's like, oh, why, why are you dressed so, like, casually today? <laughs> Kanye West recently got rid of Kim's closet and bought her a whole new wardrobe. Would you, yeah, would you ever let your guy do that for you guys? Um, I'd say leave a few of my favorite pieces, but absolutely, you want to buy me a whole new wardrobe? Absolutely, go for it. Go for it. What do you think he puts you in? I personally think that girls get sick of, once they've worn something already, once you keep looking at the same things, you most likely want to get rid of it all anyway. So having someone replace that completely would be amazing. And what do I think he'd put me in? He'd put me in Kanye West. Duh. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> and I'm obsessed with this. Air Yeezys. I'll take them. Yeah, uh, some Air Yeezys. We need those. And those sick, um, like, white cream booty type shoes that he has are insane. Do you guys have any embarrassing fashion moments? Something you really regret? Hi, I was a cheetah girl. I have tons of embarrassing fashion moments. Google me. <laughs> I love the cheetah girls, by the way. Yes, Thank they're you. Incredible. And you guys are both working with Neo on a new project, is that right? Yes, we actually are. Um, I'm signed to uh, Compound University and Columbia Records. And um, I have an EP coming out September 14th. And oh, then I get it. It's incredible. I think she's probably my, my biggest fan. Um, and then I have an album coming out the uh, top of 2013, so I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Awesome. Can I get one cheetah? Yeah. Rawr, cheetah! <laughs> What's the best piece of style advice anyone's ever given you? Uh, something that I carry with me that has been recommended to me for my personal style is that less is more. So I always like to just look classy and elegant and, and my style is less is more. So that's something that I've carried with me. And are there any trends that you're loving and hating for the upcoming season? Um, not really. I think I'm just excited. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to see what's out there. So. And I have to point out that you have a tiara on there. Is that, courtes is that courtesy of uh, the pageant? Yeah, I wear my crown in uh, larger settings. You know, that really sim symbolizes what Miss America is. It's an American icon. It's a historic part of American culture. And when I don't wear my crown, I, I tend to wear this pin just to signify that uh, and, and still have it be a representation of the organization. When you're designing for or, you know, picking clothes for a show like Girls, how do you, it's not necessarily about the most fashionable outfit. It's sort of like trying to tell a story through the characters. How do you go about that? You hit it on the nose. It's, it's exactly what I'm trying to do is tell the story through the clothes that reflects reflects what the characters are going through and so we take that into account when we're out shopping is the color right does it does it help with the mood of the scene do they have to do any stunts in this outfit and so we take all of that into account as we're picking those looks and with girls if they can get it off easily right well there is that <laughs> and girls is a show where we spend a lot of time thinking about underwear because we see underwear and it's part of their character wardrobe and so it's important 
Now, a lot of actors, they do something called method acting, where they sort of like live the life of the character they're gonna play. Do you ever do that as a stylist, where you're like, okay, so I'm, you know, Marnie today. What would Marnie wear and do? That's a great question. Um, I don't know that I totally immerse myself in the characters, but I definitely find myself gravitating towards pieces from their wardrobes, depending on the show that I'm on. For instance, I might buy a lot of Jessa jewelry in my personal life. Calvin suit tonight. I threw in a bow tie just to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> and if you were to remake the Rangers uniforms and give it a fashionable twist, what changes would you make? Uh, I don't think I want to change. It's uh, so classic, you know. It's original six. It's been around since 1925 or something. Um, no, I don't want to change the Rangers. There's there's a lot of jerseys out there in the league that I would like to change, but the Rangers should stay, stay the way it is. And has there been any rivalry since you won Most Stylish Athlete and beat out Sean Avery? <laughs> Well, I haven't talked to Sean yet. I might call him tonight or tomorrow just to let him know. Trends you're loving and hating for the upcoming season? Trends I'm loving? Well, I've been seeing girls wearing like not platform shoes and I think it's very sexy when they wear stilettos. So that's, that's the trend that I'm loving the most. And for guys, no capris. That's a disaster for me and I hope that kind of disastrous trend uh, stays away. What's the best piece of style advice your mom has ever given you? Wow, you know, my mom just likes me to be very clean and put together. She doesn't like messy, so we, we don't look good messy. Some people look good, cool, disheveled, right. and so it's not our look. We need to be pretty much put together and kind of uh, looking good. What can we expect from your upcoming collection? Uh, a silhouette that is at the same time romantic and sporty and very regal. Is there like an ideal woman that you know you really have in your mind when you're designing? No, I have. Uh, I love so many type of women that are self-confident, creative, have their personality, and I want to help them dream through clothes. Then it's not about one muse; it's too limiting. It's more about an attitude and the self-confidence that are very inspiring to me. And what are you wearing, head to toe? Uh, a Catherine Malandino dress tonight. That is um, like a t-shirt dress with a craftsmanship of Zwarovski and in stripe to keep it quite sporty, a clutch for my friend Eddie Parker, and a shoes from my latest collection. What's the best piece of style advice your mom has ever given you? Don't wear underwear with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did your mom give you any advice? Uh, I think we would definitely make sure that you wear the dress, don't let the dress wear you. And what do you think is the number one fashion faux pas? Um, people are scared, they, they overstyle, so they, they overstyle, they get scared and they kind of are like, they curl their hair, they put on one more bracelet, it's, it's putting on another ring, putting, yeah, it's like, less is always more. I think not dressing in an age appropriate way. <laughs> Real housewife. Hey. <laughs> if you could pick one celebrity whose closet you could just steal and raid their whole wardrobe, whose would you take? Wow. As a guy, Brad Pitt kind of has it. You know, he dresses up, he dresses down. I like him. Pierce Brosnan, as a guy, really dresses really well. He's like chic and elegant. But I, I like somebody a little funkier like Brad. I think Brad kind of, you know, he has the knit caps and then he has the tuxedo. So, What do you think is the number one fashion faux pas? <laughs> well, I, one of the things for me, I think, can be if things are too tight. Yeah. Because you see a woman, a nice-looking woman with a great body, but if it's too tight... You know, they can look like they're coming out of it. And that can be, and then people think they're kind of tarts. But also, I don't know, I think depending on your age, I think age specific is an important part of style. So if you're a young girl, you can show more skin and all that. If you're an older woman, you want to, you know, be appropriate. You know, because you don't want to look like you're trying to be 20 if you're 45. If you were going to remake the Knicks uniform, what fashionable twist would you give it? Oh, I think I think the uniforms they just remade was awesome. I saw it for the first time today. It looked great. What trends are you loving and hating for men's fashion this upcoming season? You can never go wrong with a jean jacket. That seems to be my go-to car right now. Uh, and uh, I can't think of too much that I'm hating. I, I mean, I, men's fashion seems to be a great, great collection with most designers. So I can't really pick one that I hate. Do you ever look back on something that you've worn and just been like, oh, I can't believe I wore that? Yeah, I remember back in 2000, 2003, I had like a mustard colored <laughs> sport coat on with a pair of jeans and a, and a, and a tie. So that was back when I was 18. So 
Fresh Prince days. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually a rookie in the NBA at that point. <laughs> and what are you wearing this evening? I'm wearing Calvin Klein collection. Uh, even the pin here? Carolina? Yeah, I got these out of, uh, out of Paris. So there's like vintage uh, pins here. And what are you wearing? You look absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Catherine Melandrino. And the shoes? Givenchy. Well, thank you guys so much. You look amazing. Have fun. Thank you very much. Well, that concludes the red carpet portion of the ninth Annual Style Awards. If you want to see who the big style winners are, make sure to tune in Friday, September 14th, only on the Style Network.